Hello lovers, <laughs> welcome back to my channel guys. I am doing lots of videos talking about my experience, my inner thoughts, my opinions. So bear with me, I may be all over the place, but some of you guys will be able to relate and some of you guys won't and that's okay. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about um, how and why we let go of different babies, how I choose, you know, how can you go from this being the most sentimental forever baby for me to, okay, he's 800, <laughs> anybody want to buy him type scenario. Um, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button right at this moment and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad guys if you would like to sit down and drink some tea and chat with me live and some other collectors live join the chatter box the link is in the description bar it is a dollar and 99 cents to join you do have to be at least 18 years old to join i am expecting bigger things next year in 2021 this video may show in 2021 I don't know because I have lots lined up but I'm thinking it'll show before then but nevertheless I have two of my most favorite babies I know we'll get to that um Micah and Major um Micah being the awake baby and Major being the sleep baby and oh my god Seeing them two laying here together is just magical for me. All right, so. Um, wow, I didn't realize they were so close in size. There's also a size comparison there for you. So the awake baby, Micah, is worn by Laura Tuzer Ross. He is, I think he's supposed to be 17 to 18 inches. Pretty sure. And then... Um, Sam by Gudrun Legler is to be 19 inches. Now, give and take the bodies that they're on, the way that they, you know, are weighted and all that stuff and stuff makes may make them look bigger or smaller. I don't care, guys. I'm sorry. It's the skin tone for me. <laughs> like, I'm looking in this camera and I don't know if it's going to come across on your screen the way it come across on mine. And I'm looking at them in person, too, and I'm just like... Your girl did that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, like, I love these babies. Like, I just, I'm sorry if lately I've been tooting my own horn a little more than I should. But I am just really, like, I can't believe that I actually am painting for myself. Like, I never would have thought that I would be painting and painting like this. So forgive me. Um, I'm just thankful. God has really blessed me with being able to do the little bit that I do do. But anyway, <laughs> moving right along. I will tell you this, that both of them were painted with um, a great deal of love and admiration for the sculpt. Um, I am most inspired by sculpts. Um, it does dictate how well I paint. I know. Um, do I mess up on nice sculpts that I love? Yes. But do I tend to, well, at least to me, feel like I paint the ones that I love better? I think so. Um, which is why I've made a conscious decision not to paint kits that I'm not in love with and which is why I can't do customs because it will force me to paint babies that I'm not in love with. Um, I am actually going through so many different phases in my journey of painting. Um, I think I've went through a lot of phases in collecting but now in painting, I think I'm up and down an emotional roller coaster. That's why some days it's like, I'm going to do customs. I'm not going to do customs. Um, right now, I'm feeling I'm not going to do customs. Not only am I not going to do customs, I don't even know if I'm going to be painting to sell for a while after I finish my order. So I just don't know where I'm going. I'm just going to take it one day at a time. But to this video. 
<laughs> Micah was up for sale. If you guys remember, Micah, I did a video and I just sat down and I never pre-record my videos. Like, I mean, like, I'm not pre, I don't have a script. I just sit down. Sometimes I think about something, oh, I'm going to talk about this. But by the time I sit down and start talking, it goes somewhere else. And I started talking about my grandbaby and I got emotional. And um, in that moment, Micah, like, was, like, a comfort baby for me because his face is just so plainy and it just took me to that moment of you know that time and that space and yes he's a doll and he's not real and he cannot provide you know he can't give me anything back to so to speak but you guys get what i'm saying um something about holding these dolls the weight of them i don't know anyway i'm not a psychologist i'm just telling you how i feel child and you know i'm weird so don't judge me um but yeah and so I've, I've gotten past that moment <laughs> and I still love him and he's still very special to me and I'm going to get him changed. I'm going to change them. So I'm going to do some swap with them. So I'm going to put him, I'm going to put a uh, major on something new and I'm going to put Micah on what major has on. So that makes sense. Okay. So I'll start with this little one. So basically, um, Sometimes you you do you just you you love these babies and sometimes getting multiple new babies will affect things too because you get a new baby and you like that one more than you like the one before and so now you're not as connected to the other one and then eventually sometime you're still connected to your old one sometime it'll be the newness and the newness wear off and then you go back to loving the old baby but sometime it just the new baby just pushed that old baby totally out. I mean, there is nothing you can do. You just, when you dress it, you feel nothing. You don't care to do anything with the baby anymore. And it's, it's just over. <laughs> the time has just passed. But for viewers, they're looking at it like, oh my God, she was just saying how much she loved that baby. Now she has it up herself. She's such a liar. She never really loved that baby. You know, I, that's not true all the time. Sometimes people do do it just to get the baby sold or, you know, whatever for views or whatever likes, clicks whatever but it's not always true sometimes you really truly just move past that moment or sometimes you're so caught up in the newness and the hype of a doll um that's why like if you do a box opening and you get the baby and then after the you stop recording and you look over the baby and you realize that the baby is not as nice as you thought. It's good not to just upload the video. Don't upload that video because people are going to say, well, you said in your box opening. Um, because the adrenaline is rushing and you want to have this awesome experience and it, you just, you're in that moment in a zone. It's like you're, 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 you're experiencing this rush. I just, you know, I, I that's that's all I can say, and it just it changes, and sometimes, sometimes you're still very much in love with a baby, but you have this goal and you want something more, or hell, something come up in just outside of dolls, and you need the money, and you just you realize that, hey, this is a doll. At the end of the day, it's a doll, and. I have real life stuff that I need to take care of and this is money sitting here and it's the easiest way to get money is to sell this than to go and take out a loan or borrow money from your savings account or borrow money from family or friends and you just want to sell. You just need to sell, you know. Um, I mean, do you need to come and give a whole explanation to your YouTuber, your followers or or um, your Instagram followers or whatever, you really, absolutely not. It's, it's none of no one's business um, why you need to sell. But if you have included us in your journey, I think it's nice when you do 
you know tell us as long as it's not personal i mean if you just say hey i'm not bonded to the baby no more or hey something came up i need to take care of something i think it's nice when you do that because we've become emotionally invested in you and your babies and i get that um i've tried to get to a point where i you know don't say it's none of your business you know but i do say it still um but yeah um it's just one of you know one of those things so basically um i i'm not ready i'm not ready for michael to leave so he's he won't be up for sale um i will tell you um micah is hyper detailed um well i ain't gonna say hyper hyper it's just standard he's he has a quite a bit of veining he has mottlin um his his toenails and nail fingernails are more detailed actually than this one because i decided i wanted to leave his clear like i didn't want the whole you know tips and all that and stuff because for me sometimes all babies just don't have it and i just i just didn't want to do it and um so i know that that's the hype for everybody else now if i decide to sell them i probably go back in and add some color to his nails his toes i may actually still do it because like i said he's not weighted yet so i may still add like a little bit of color to his uh toenails and stuff and and do that part because sometime i can i do the nails at the end anyway um but i, I was ready <laughs> sometime when i'm painting i'm just ready i just want the baby i was just come on let's go um he has um some you know a little bit of broken capillaries he has very little veining actually um major um most of his stuff is in his coloring and he is modeled he's very very modeled um even down in his feet um but mostly for me it's his skin tone than anything where in micah he has the lightening of the hands and the feet he has a, a, a prick. Um, they both have the milk bumps. Um, Micah's is a, a little bit different, less um, color to it. He does have baby acne a little bit right here on his cheek, which is very realistically done, in my opinion. Um, he does have the wide eyes. He has, you know, he has the gums too and the tongue um i think i got his gum color a little bit better than his gum color but his gum color is still nice um they both have he has veining inside of his ears and they both have like the the detail inside the ears as well i've got something i've child i told y'all i'm weird i've gotten into that um but I think his head is more modeled than his head. Um, so they're, they're both oddly similar. Um, funny thing is they actually are about the same size. So Micah is supposed to be a preemie, but which I know. Um, and then... Uh, I, I thought he was supposed to be newborn, but I guess they can both be small newborn or large preemie. I guess it all depends on what you're accustomed to calling um, preemie and not. But I know he can fit some preemie, and I'm sure um, Major can too. But I put him on mostly uh, Carter's, um, or let me say Carter's, newborn, but this is Carter's. <laughs> that I'm putting him on. Um, so, Micah is already weighted, and he's weighted pretty heavy, which is nice. Um, Major not weighted totally, but I can tell you this, just by the little weight that he does have, I can tell when he gets weighted, he is definitely going to be one of my favorites to hold. Um, because I just love it. I love this size baby. You know, um, 
I miss this size baby in, in silicone as well because, you know, that's the great thing about vinyl versus silicone is that you have so many options with the vinyl as far as kits and sculpts and looks and positions of the limbs and all that stuff versus silicone is just so limited and the thing about silicone is I guess because it's such a small market of people doing it they're very competitive and if one person big sculptor do you know a big baby they all do a big baby and then it's like we don't have no little babies um and then it <laughs> it, it 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 just you know the saga continues uh so um when they get into preemies then it's all preemies and no big babies it's like so limited <laughs> it's phases you have to wait to they so now i'm waiting for them to go through the newborn phase and the preemie phase again because it was the big babies were the thing you know um the bigger babies and i i just um i'm over it i want newborn now <laughs> um but yeah he does have some veining um and he has some like i said veining in his in his head and stuff and he like he has the medical spots and he has detail in his you know lots of detail in his face um that may not show up on camera as much so he is a detailed baby don't get me wrong on that he's just i just didn't put a lot of veins on him this time and that's okay because um veining is it's one of those things that I love when it's done right and I think it adds realism and so I can really appreciate a veiny baby but it's not a thing that I need um, I'm okay with a baby that don't have not one vein I actually one of the the higher-end babies that I bought from a very popular um, prototype artist um is very beautiful but it doesn't have not one vein <laughs> and um so and their babies sell for thousands and it doesn't have a vein and in my opinion i don't feel cheated i don't feel like it's taken away from the baby i think the baby is still absolutely worth every penny and very beautiful um so that's you know that's the thing about me some people feel like <laughs> when they spend a certain amount of money that every they want every single thing that you could possibly get in a doll and sometimes some babies just don't look good with certain things too gotta keep that in consideration too sometimes we want things in certain sculpts that just don't apply to that sculpt like you know you don't take a toddler and give it milk bumps you don't have a well i'm not gonna go down the list because surely somebody baby will have one of the things that i mentioned and that will piss them off and i will offend somebody or basically seem like i'm talking about their babies so i'm gonna stop right there with that part see i'm getting better at this thing where i can discuss certain topics without being offensive um <laughs> working with i'm working on it working on it now oh i was supposed to change rice and pepper but i'm like oh, i got these two diapers here so that's my boys. Let me see what he look like. Ah, yeah. So anyway, this is a very long video, but yeah, that's basically how it goes. Like you, you know, sometimes I even feel guilty when I get ready to put a baby up because I feel like I'm letting down people <laughs> when I say I want to sell this baby and people are like, oh my God, but you loved him. And it's like, yeah, um, it's like Bryson, like Bryson just was my heartbeat but honestly I still love Bryson but it's I've kind of moved past it um I hate to say it I still love him when I hold him I still like him when I trust him but 
I'm just not in love with Bryson anymore. And it's weird. It's, you know, I don't know if it's because I've gotten new babies or what the case may be, but I know I have another scope. I know I will have one in my collection. Um, I think I'm going to save it to paint it when I am not feeling rushed or pressured because I have orders. Um, so I'm going to save that, that, that kit and paint it for myself later. But eventually, Bryson will leave the nursery. I, I, I feel it. As much as I'll keep pulling him down and putting him back up for sale and taking him down, at the end of the day, he will leave. Just as well as Ruby. I love her, but she's going to go. Eventually, she's going to go. Um, some babies I just know are destined to stay forever in my collection. And some I think are going to stay forever and they don't. And it's just, you know, it's just day by day. So, anyway guys, just wanted to share that, my thoughts with you guys on that. And, oh my gosh, I got to go. I have to take these babies some pictures and I need to also um, get ready for my day and work. <sighs> so, you know, I wish I could stay home and just play with dolls all day, but that's just not the way the real world works, right? So I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> Later.